Hey everyone, I'm the Reverend Godfather, main host and frontman for the Lone Coat Mafia podcast, the internet's most hated mafia-themed geek podcast, and welcome to a nice warm February afternoon where here in West Virginia it wants to be Florida in regards to the weather, and as you probably figured out by the title and the thumbnail, we have a unboxing video, and it's another one shot, and uh, yes, we have uh, some gripes in regards to this particular one shot. Uh, I wanted February's edition uh, or February's one shot because I like the theme, even though it's kind of a Valentine's Day sort of thing. And um, I'm normally the person that's bah humbug when it comes to Valentine's Day, but when vampires are involved, you know what? Hell, I'm down for it. So. Uh, this is supposed to be a vampire-themed um, one-shot from uh, Dungeon in a Box. It's from their Wondrous One-Shot series. Let's open it up, take a look at everything. And for those of you, it says right there, I think you guys can make it out, Wondrous one, uh, Dungeon in a Box, right there. And though I, uh, again... We don't have that many watchers on this to kind of deal with everything, but do I have gripes, gripes with uh, Dungeon in the Box this month? Yes, we do. I'll knock it off, will you? So, uh, what is Wondrous One Shots? We'll put this right here for the time being. What is Wondrous One Shots and Dungeon in the Box? Well, uh, Dungeon in the Box, they promote 20 bucks a month. You get a one shot in the mail. For your campaigns to use or help with your friends who might have a well a nice campaign going on and they don't want to run that week or for whatever reasons you're not florida you're west virginia dang nabbit but still uh, is it worth the 20 bucks a month yes but it's not really 20 bucks a month it can range from 25 to 30 bucks a month because they do not include the large uh, or say the large or the extra large or the uh, additional stuff like any additional uh, uh, models that they might have like if they provide stuff in here for a uh, a home that you can build a 3d model of a home they don't provide that you have to pay extra for that but for the most part they're worth it and even at the extra cost on it but this month I do have some gripes. Let's see if they included everything because I did pick up the the extra larges this month. And as always, now they do offer a seasonal, and there'll be I think starting their uh, season four. I don't think I'll be signing up for their season four because I am kind of ship. It's going to be expensive. I don't have the 40 bucks a month for it. But. Really. Don't tell me they skimped out on the. Everything else. Let's. Take these things out first. No. No. They got it. It's under everything else. <sighs> really. Instead of put it. Now. Here's the thing. Uh, here's the aspect. As you can see. I opened it up. Took the wrapping off. They put the main stuff you get in this tissue paper. Why did they? Why they didn't put everything in underneath the tissue paper uh, is beyond me. Because you have it, the stuff in the tissue paper, this above it, and you have more tissue paper. <laughs> so uh, as stated, it's an unboxing and wax. Uh, Unboxing and a reaction to, and as always, the, well, it looks like the extra larges that I got are falling out of the holder. Uh, either they're going with a cheaper company or, again, in transit stuff. This is a, Dungeon in a Box, this is how your stuff gets broken in transit. Now, as always, yes, at ad bases you saw my I think my one of my previous videos that uh, 
because of cost cutting and they claim environmental reasons, I had to opt in. Uh, it doesn't hurt to have extra bases. Never hurts to extra ba bases. A lot of people I've seen on uh, went to uh, uh, their Discord and people say, you know, having the extras is a good thing because they're flimsy as, as hell. And uh, it's good to always good to have extras. And yet people are claiming, oh, we want to... Um, uh, cut down. We don't want these yet. People want extras because they're flimsy as hell. So I don't find them flimsy. I just love having the extras. But uh, that's beside the point. I posted up. It's like yes, I posted up in regards to the, a thing saying yes. I want the extras. All that done thing. I want it so much. I want to fill a kiddie pool full of them. And I got ripped all fuck because of it. Yeah, I know YouTube wants to be a, a kitty and family friendly thing. Uh, but still, uh, I got ripped all, all out. I was like, are you being sarcastic? Yes, I'm being sarcastic. I do want them. I want extras. I want extras. If I give out extra uh, mini skinny minis to friends for them to use, I want bases to give them. And that's the main reason. And, the, of course, with this, they gave a promotion for March's box, which is coming out. And their um, aspect is, or at least for their extra large or their their set piece to add on is a uh, seated demon. Uh, from what I gather, it's going to be made out of thick cardboard uh, or cardstock instead of plastic. And people are bitching about that on their Discord. And on uh, Facebook groups. But here's the bases. And put this here. So if we could at least show the extra larges. That popped out of the, the frame. Can't put them back in inside the plastic. Because well it's inside the plastic. And they pop out so damn easy. I gotta take it out of the plastic so I can put them back in. We need to childproof the stuff and it's gonna make it difficult. We'll get into do I like to edit? No. Here's the like I said, this was in the plastic, all loose. They do offer I mean it's wonderful stuff that they do. It's on both sides. regards to it but the fact that it's in so damn loose it's disgusting now they should fit in here nice and snug but they're in so look how loose these are in they should be in here nice and snug that they fit back in but no they I mean it shouldn't be like this man dungeon in a box your quality has literally went downhill so bad at least this one's a little... See how snug this one is? It fits in fine. Yep. It fell out. Yet... Yet... It shouldn't be this loose. It should be in here nice and snug. I should have had to pop these out, but no. They're in here so loose, it's disgusting. Like, seriously. I know I'm going to be ripped to shred in the comment section like I am with the... Uh, uh, kind of the whole aspect of uh, uh, the Elder Brain review that we did in reaction because they were annoyed I did a unboxing re review of it right out of the review out of the box it shouldn't be like this but like uh, quit sucking uh, Dungeon in the Box's uh, uh, genitalia it should, it, this is unacceptable it, it should be a little bit more snugger. It shouldn't be like this. I should be popping these out. These shouldn't be coming out in transit. Um, are they DK oldies bad in regards to stuff? Uh, I want to say, I'm not saying D what DK oldies does. If not, look up DK oldies, Review Tech USA in regards to the whole drama and all that and what they're doing. He does a great job in explaining uh, what DK oldies has been doing. But uh, the qual 
I want to say quality wise, yeah, uh, yeah, it's what Dungeon Box is doing is piss poor quality right now. It, it literally. Um, now for the main aspect of things, again, this is a waste. All this tissue paper is a waste. And again, <laughs> tissue paper to separate. See how all these are uh, uh, nice and snug in there right now? They're not falling out. Yeah, this is how it should be. This is how it should be. Oh, even they are, they're loose in here. Oh, wow. Uh, dungeon in a box. You can do better, man. You can do so much better. You can do so much better. Much, much better. But what I like uh, overall, uh, is what they provide is that they provide everything to run this. But here's that uh, the book, uh, Stolen Hearts, all about vampires. If this ball is a bloody affair, it's about 12 pages long or so. They provide all the. Um, Tables and everything else that you need to do to run it. They have wonderful maps. They always give wonderful maps. It is, I think, the outside and the ballroom on the other side. Like I said it is wonderful what they do. Now, like I said, they provide everything everything but there's a but with this the but comes on their digital side yes if you get the physical stuff you get the digital stuff it is as of this recording this uh february 21st 2023 i got an email from dungeon in the box it's their promotional stuff uh, from the promotional side saying talking about this month's campaign, the Stolen Hearts campaign, Wondrous One Shot, saying, "Hey, it's coming out!" And guess what we did? Uh, we, for your uh, players, we have stuff for you to print out for your players. I'm like, okay, what is it? What do you have to offer to the players? Or say the gems to give to the players, and so forth and so on. They said, "Well, we have." For this month's campaign, an invite to hand out to your players. A printout to hand out to your players. Uh, and I'm like, cool, I didn't get a chance because the campaign, this was not available digitally. I mean, the book and the maps were not available digitally yet. This was the end of January, by the way. They already had the invite out to download. I'm like, okay, I'll wait until maybe about beginning of January, if not um, a little bit later. When I'll wait until maybe about January 10th when they not only have the maps, uh, the book and the maps out, they'll have the, I see the invites already up. And I'll wait until, like I said, January 10th, maybe 11th. When I get the uh, email saying that this is headed my way, and I'll download the book. Again, I'll download the book, the maps, digitally. I'll download the invite. I'll download the lore, because that would be ready already. And I'll download the level adjustment guide, if the lore and um, level adjustment guide are ready. Because those are fun to have, too. Again, it's right now, it's February 21st, 2023. Is, is the invite up? No, it was up at the end of January. So between January 31st, I'll say January 30th, give them the benefit of the doubt. January 30th and today, February 21st, they took it down for whatever reason. Because, according to them, it's not ready yet. 
it was ready a uh, thir- uh, 30, uh, 22 days ago. It was ready the end of January. What ha- That invite was ready then. I have the email. It's no longer there. The level and, and the level adjustment guide and the lore I still have the emails for at least the invite I should screenshot it and send it up and post it up to Twitter saying and Facebook saying hey dungeon in a box where is your uh, and screenshot the uh, uh, top of the or at least where, where all the downloads are uh, there's nothing here where is it uh, so, according to their Discord, we're working hard on it. We are working hard on what? In eight, less than eight days, in less than a week, in a week, you'll be putting out March's content. March. March's content. This content, the additional content, should be out already. Out already for download. Everything should be ready for this month. Out. You're working hard on it. Dude, this is why people are starting to hate on your crap. Hating on your crap. You, there should have been a delay. You should, this, this should have been a... You're doing excuses. I know last month, middle of last month, with the whole OGL... And Wizards of the Coast drama was was happening. You still should have been though focusing on having one side of the your organization working on this and the other side keeping an eye on it. But no, you'd rather say to everybody, you know what? We we have a history of telling our uh, to go downhill so fast. And no matter what we do, our fan base is going to put on knee pads and nuzzle up to our crotch. It's disgusting. And no matter what we do, our, our fan base is going to roast and belittle those that are critiquing us hard. We don't have to do anything. We're, we're just going to do what I want. Eventually, you guys, Dungeons in the, bo- Dungeon in the Box... You guys, what can I say, man? You guys are going to go downhill so fast. And the thing is, uh, you should have po- uh, posted something on your your official Facebook page. Not Discord. Facebook and Twitter. In regards to uh, when the OGL drama, you should have hit the ground. Cold Press, everybody else was hitting the ground running in regards to this. What are you guys doing? Oh, uh, 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 we're gonna wait and see. We're gonna wait and see. You should have been hitting the ground, running and nipping this in the bud. Even Critical Role was, you know, taking sides and doing their part. You, nope, nope, nope. We're we we want to be a uh, we're a shit show as it is. We're turning into a shit show, so why not be a shit show? Uh, it's already, you know, uh, it's bad enough last month. Oh, uh, we're having delays with our skinny mini campaign that we should, y'all should have had, uh, four months ago, three months ago, but, uh, we found that there were errors, shipping errors. Oh yeah. Chinese new year and other errors, more errors, more errors. And you should be getting it out. Maybe March, maybe March. Like, it's bad enough. This is why a lot of folks, like myself, hate Crowdfunder. We love Crowdfunder because we get to support what we like. But we hate it because we either A, don't get it when we're supposed to get it. Or B, don't get it at all. So, or C, what we get is crap. Uh, Hopefully, I don't get crap. It's been... um, it's been only a few things that I've gotten on time, but still, that's a different rant. That might be a grind to my gears. So, either way, I'm the Reverend Godfather. 
check out our content here on, on this channel. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video, made it this far. Take care. I'm out.